In my previous video, I programmed Arduino Uno as a simple web server displaying a static web page on a browser. To avoid low memory problems of the Uno, the HTML code of the web page was stored on a micro SD card input into the SD slot of the Ethernet shield. In this video, Arduino Mega connected to Ethernet Shield is programmed as a DHT11 web server displaying temperature and humidity values on a dynamic web page using Ajax protocol and the HTML code of the web page is stored on SD card. As mentioned in my previous video, one of the problems programming the UNO as a web server is low static RAM which can easily be used up when adding the HTML code of the web page onto the C++ sketch and thus causing low memory problems. The low memory problem of the UNO was solved by storing the HTML code on the micro SD card. This solution is okay for simple uh, static web pages but uh, as the web pages become more complex and dynamic the Arduino Uno again ran into the low memory problems. I recommend using the Arduino Mega when programmed as a web server since it has enough static memory which is 8 kilobyte compared to the Uno which is only 2 kilobytes. In this video the Arduino Mega connected to the Ethernet shield is programmed as a DHT11 uh, web server the HTML code of the web page is stored on the micro SD card and the web server is using Ajax to dynamically display the temperature and humidity values of the sensor on the web browser. A quick look at the C++ sketch used in this project. Uh, we need to include uh, these libraries in the sketch. We need to include the Ethernet library so that we can use the Ethernet part of the shield. And we need to include this SD library so that we can use the SD card reader on the shield. And both the Ethernet and the SD on the shield are connected to the Arduino using SPI connection. And we need to include the DHT uh, library so that we can use the DHT11 sensor. Inside the setup function we need to initialize the SD card reader and keep in mind that the SD card uh, reader, the SS line is internally connected to digital pin 4 of the Arduino and not pin D53 which is the default SS pin of the Arduino Mega and in order for the SD card reader function we need to disable this pin by setting it as output. Next we need to verify that the HTML file is on the SD card and the HTML file name is uh, given here and when the file is located then this message will be displayed on the serial monitor. Inside the loop function the web server checks whether an HTTP request has been received from the client. If so then we check whether the request is a AJAC request or is a page load request. If the HTTP request is a page load request then the else will be executed and the HTML file containing the web page code will be sent to the client using this statement. If the request is AJAX request then this if statement will be executed and the temperature and humidity values will be sent to the client. And now we compile the sketch and uh, observe the outputs at the serial monitor and at the web browser. In conclusion, Arduino Mega programmed as a web server is more suitable than the UNO since it has higher memory capacity. Thank you for watching.